All right, Ben Geisler here. I've got another short topic for you today, and that is putting a twist in your stirrup leathers so that the stirrups hang straight on the saddle rather than kind of parallel with the sides. Now, if you've spent a lot of time in a saddle, especially one where the stirrup leathers aren't twisted, it just kills your knees because your knees are trying to keep those stirrups pointed straight the entire time. And uh, the way around this is to put a twist in your stirrup leathers from the start. And here's how we do that. Um, so step one, you'll see that I've created kind of a notch here in my uh, stirrup leather on the inside of the fender. What that's gonna do is as I kind of tighten this around, you're gonna see that they're gonna come flush. If you don't trim this, this inside is gonna stick out past the outside. So that just kind of insulates us from that. Now, we need to get this to where we can actually bind it. Um, to do that, I'm just gonna take a, a polished hammer here and hammer this down and kind of pre-shape it. You can use a shoe hammer, just something polished so you don't beat your stuff up too much. Now, we've got this kind of in shape. Now, for the binding itself, you're gonna need, um, I like to use Latigo. This is about 9 16 you can use half inch, you can uh, use maybe five eighths, but uh, anything too wide or too narrow is not gonna be ideal. We need to do an odd number of wraps and I'll show you why in a second. Now, the end of this latigo, one is really pointy. The reason for that is we're gonna have to fish this back through with a lace pull. And if you don't have enough taper on it, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be really hard to pull through. On the other end, I've punched a hole and then a slot that is approximately one and a half to two widths of the latigo string. And I'll show you why that is as well. So first thing we want to do, make a loop with the uh, kind of the cut end pointed to your right hand side. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be what starts the binding. So we want something kind of roughly looking like this, like a necktie. <clears throat> Gonna bring it down over the stirrup and I'm gonna pull this first one tight. Now what you want is you want to make sure that this slot sits just inside the right hand or the left hand side of this thing, right? Okay, and we're gonna pull this as tight as we can without breaking it and hopefully <clears throat> I won't do that first thing. This is not maybe for the faint of hand, it takes a pretty good amount of pressure to get this tight. So once we've got this pretty tight and where we want it, <clears throat> we're gonna come around back, pull it tight again. In this case, mine shifted over, so I gotta bring it back. Okay. And we're gonna come around one more time. This is three rats. You don't have to do three, but it's gotta be an odd number because we're gonna weave this now. And in order for the weave to work out, it's gotta be an odd number. So we're gonna go up through the middle. And I may have made this tight enough, I need pliers, we'll see. All right. So now that we're up through the middle, we need our lace pull. We're gonna go through the loop, over the bottom, through the middle of the split, and up. Now we're gonna run our tail through this. Sorry if the angle isn't great. Okay, we've got the tail through the lace pull. I'm gonna pull it through, just like that. Now we've gotta kind of balance tightening this down. So you're gonna to to pull up through the top, down through the bottom, it'll loosen it. Up through the top, down through the bottom, and you'll go back and forth and <clears throat> until you get this tight. Once you have it tight, it looks like this. Okay, so what function does this serve? Well, this is binding this. So when I twist it back around, it's gonna keep it from twisting back on me. So normally at this point, I cut myself a little bit of a tail because these <clears throat> fenders and stirrup leathers are cased and as they dry out, they'll shrink just a little bit, and this can come a little bit loose. I wanna leave myself enough of a tail I can come back to this and tighten it if I need to. 
Now, to install this, <clears throat> you're gonna see the fender is gonna hang like this. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna turn this buckle halfway over before I stretch them in. And by turning it halfway over, you can see right here, that's gonna hang a stirrup straight. So to illustrate that, I'll grab this stirrup. Without a half turn, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Without a half turn, it hangs like this. Not great for your knees. With a half turn, hangs pretty much straight ahead. And this is where we wanna be. Now, you'll notice that I don't have the top of the fender riveted down yet. The reason for that is that the inside is a different length than the outside. And so if I were to rivet this as it is, when I fold it, you get this, right? <clears throat> so what I do is I will bend it the way that it needs to bend. You know, I'll fold that over. I'll get my drop kind of where I want it. And then I will mark it as it is. And that tells me where the rivets need to be so that everything is in equilibrium when it's all riveted together. Now, one last thing. When I do rivet this, I'm gonna mark where these holes are gonna be, okay? And make sure my holes are, are where I want them. Okay, and from there, I'm gonna shift that punch a half a hole downward so that the load is gonna be distributed on the stirrup leather and not necessarily on the fender, right? So just shift it about half a hole. And this is a, this is a number four. It's probably, you know, a 16th of an inch or something, but uh, ounces make pounds. So there we have it. Now it's just a matter of riveting this together and we are ready to go. So you'll see here, everything's gonna be right where we want it to be. Hopefully that helps you. Um, again, this is twisting your stirrup leather. Some people call it a Nevada twist, a California twist, buckaroo twist. The only important part is that you twist it so you take the load off your knees, make your life a little bit easier. Anyway, hope it helped. Have a good one.